What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another Geo Gazer video. Good to have you on the channel again today. And I was recently watching Geo Wizard who did a video where he challenged himself to find an exact location he'd been to in real life by randomly playing Geo Gazer Seeds. And I thought this is a fantastic idea. He ended up finding it within less than 50 rounds. And I feel like with where I've traveled, which we'll see throughout the video, I feel like it's gonna take me longer because I think UK shows up probably more than Australia, especially more than Adelaide or places I've been in Australia on the world map. So we're gonna have to see what happens here. Um, I'm in for the long haul. First take is gonna be the only take and I hope that I can find somewhere. Now we, we're trying to get the exact location. If it takes too long, I might like widen the perspective to be like within 50 meters or something like that. But the first one here is a remarkably red soiled US or is it just Brazil? I suppose it's actually just Brazil, but it really looked like US on the first glance here. I mean, regardless, we should be somewhere in a place that I've never been before. So in terms of South America, I've never been. In terms of the US, I've only been to Seattle and Washington State. So yeah, we should indeed be in Brazil. We were right on the Paraguay border there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the first round. Let's see what we get next. Okay, Europe here. Yeah, Spanish sign there, not a place I've been. I'll try and get some nice guesses as well and explain my thought process. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, really it's about finding those countries where we've been before. This one is Jordan. Again, not a place I've ever been in my life. Jordan, I definitely would like to visit one day. Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, they're both, they all seem like very cool countries. Okay, Japan is actually a country I have been to. We're on a very small little lane here. I have a feeling that this round is not gonna benefit us in the slightest, but where do we think we are? I think actually, we actually might be in Osaka or something like that here. That could make sense to me. It's a city I've been to, 07 for a number. I think that could make sense as well. Uh, uh, but Osaka is a massive city and this is just a side street. So I don't really think, yeah, I don't think this is helping us at all, but at least it's a city we've been to, I think. Yeah, it was Osaka, okay, nice. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to think where we were actually in Osaka, but uh, even, I think Japan is just not the country we're gonna get this on because I don't really remember the names of a lot of places I went to anyway. I, I was, uh, I was, I mean, I went to Dotonbori and or, or the castle. I guess we could get the castle, it's possible. But basically speaking, you know, <laughs> I was with my Japanese friend and he was doing all the place name remembering and I wasn't, so yeah. Ooh, where's this? We're in a art gallery here. It's probably, ooh, we have Chinese as well. I mean, that could, I mean, Chinese tourists probably would like Chinese signage, so we're probably, oh, we do have actually more and maybe even Japanese. Okay. Are we in Tokyo then? I mean, I don't see any like Japanese artwork, but I, I feel like we are actually in Japan here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Tokyo. Yeah. It says Tokyo here. Oh, National Museum of Western Art. That makes perfect sense because that was not, you know, traditional Japanese art by any stretch. And we'll guess downtown here. I think it should be downtown. Okay. The first Australia, 40 rounds in the first Australia. Have I ever been on this road? Okay, I think we're in Western Australia here. That probably renders us having been on the road relatively unlikely. We do have a yellow signpost here. I mean, it's worthwhile just checking what's on the other side of the sign. Oh, we're in Generation 1 coverage now. Great, okay. Well, I'm thinking that we probably, I mean, this seems a bit too hilly for anywhere I've been in WA. However, uh, let's just check this sign quickly because it is possible. And we're entering the place of Chittering. Yeah, not a place I've ever heard of in my life, or if I have, not a place I've ever been. I thought we might be around here, Chittering, because um, we got this hilly country around here. Oh yeah, here's Chittering, okay. So, Chittering, I've never been there. I never went north of Perth when I went to Western Australia, so yeah, and we are going slightly northeasterly on the Chittering Road. I think we might be around here, if I'm correct. Um, and we were on the White Road instead, 12 kilometers away. Oh, there we go. Our first Australia is wasted, unfortunately. Okay, we're in Poland. However, Poland is not that good. Uh, in Poland, I've been to Krakow. I've been to Zakopane. And that's... Oh, Katowice. So that's that's it. Um, and I feel like we're up here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we are. So yeah, no, no can do that. Okay, seems like we are actually in Washington State here. And probably on the outskirts of S Seattle. However, I must tell you guys that's not good because really when I visited Seattle, I only visited downtown. I didn't go to any of the suburbs and we're probably like outside of Tacoma here or something, I imagine, yeah. So yeah, much too far out. However, this is probably the closest to any of the rounds. Believe it or not, probably the closest we've been so far. And it's already probably like 30 kilometers from where I've been. 
Oh, I guess, I guess actually the Perth also would have been about 30 kilometers or 20 kilometers from where I've been. So yeah, no, nothing so crazy so far. We, we are a bit unlucky, I think. Oh, we, okay. This is what more like, we got a Stoby pole here. So that means we are in South Australia and it looks like we're in the hills. So let's try and get this no moving. See if I recognize the road. Okay, so immediately it's familiar looking. I definitely could have been here. Even recently I could have been here. Okay, what have we got? We're gonna have to move here, I think for extra clues because I don't recognize it off the bat. However, I think there's a high probability I've driven this road because it definitely just feels like it's somewhere up in the hills and the hills, I would have driven a majority of the arterial roads and this one, you know, it has traffic on it both directions. So I feel like this is a fairly arterial road. Let's move and see where we are. Okay, so we are a bushfire last resort. That's classic South Australia. Well, let's see what we have here. School holiday activities in Coromandel. I've definitely been to, been to Coromandel. Um, this is uh, here, yeah. Uh, Coromandel Valley. Now the question is, would I have driven this exact road? I do think it's rather likely, but I don't know if I could confirm. So Weymouth Oval there. Um, so is that that one there? Uh, there's Weymouth Oval. So we're probably on main road here. If this is main road, so if that's, we're, we're looking at the Weymouth Oval here, I imagine. So that's to our west. Yeah, so we, we, should, we should be at, like at the bus stops here on the main road. I think it's uh, very likely that I would have been on this road because I have a friend who lives in Coromandel Valley. The thing is, I also don't have a distinct memory of this oval. So, hmm, the question is, do we want to count this? I think I, I think I would have liked to have been exactly sure, but let's get the 5K anyway. So here's the road angle. Yeah, this should be main road. The road angle is perfect. And if we go back to where we were, then yeah, we were just uh, a bit further north then the bus stops here and we have this off-road as well which makes perfect sense so we should be like around here so ah, man i want to actually just go give it a little explore this direction to see if i recognize anything okay does this intersection look more familiar it's it's really hard to say like i think so i think i would have been on this road but i think we should also play a little longer to see if i get one where i know exactly where it is so this was about 50 rounds in or so right um we get the 5k here and now I'll play a bunch just uh, without commentary and see if I can get one where I really did know. But honestly, because we didn't get any Melbourne, any Sydney to get Adelaide that soon, and a place I've most likely been is pretty great. Okay, here we are in Germany. First Germany we've had. And Germany, I mean, Germany on the world map tends to always be smaller roads for some reason. But it is possible that I would have been here. Ostalb Erleben. Okay, Ostalb I've never heard of, so feels like I've never been to Ostalbkreis, but we'll find out what uh, what subdivision we're in here maybe. So what is that? Donau Ries, Freistadt Bayern. Okay, we are in Bavaria, so that's good. Uh, Bavaria is the state I spent the longest time in, and Baden-Württemberg. I've crossed over this border, but I have crossed over that border on the train, not in a car, I think. So obviously. We're somewhere along here, and it probably is pretty findable, but I, I would imagine it's more so. The thing is, I, I lived in Würzburg, which is so close to the border between the two. So maybe, just by chance, I would have been right near here. But hard, I forgot that that's near by. Um, but, uh, are we gonna find this town? I mean, to an Australian, the sheer number of towns here is just absurd. Like, <laughs> but I, I feel like we're not on this part of the border crossing, because that's often on a river, or at least... Yeah, and then we get to Hessen. So, yeah, I mean, we, we should be somewhere over here. I, I just didn't see exactly where we were. I'm probably just going to make a plonk here because unless we are really close to Würzburg, then I've never been to this place and I'm just going to send in here. And yeah, it was quite a bit further south. Nerdlingen, I wanted to visit, but uh, yeah, never been there. So that is another L. Oh, okay. We're back in South Australia. What are the chances? This is only the third Australia we've gotten and two of them were in SA. And this road definitely seems like the road I may have been on. Uh, so let's have a look. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Okay, so obviously we don't, I don't have enough info to say I've been here for sure. We're going east, slightly northeast. I don't think that angle works terrifically for where I would have been. Maybe if we were like here on the Dukes Highway, that would make sense. But also we're in older coverage, so that doesn't really feel that great. But given that we're in my state, I think there's a good chance we make something out here. 
And why are we in generation one? Okay, here we go. So let's jump over to that main road over there. That will tell us the town. And then if I've been to the town, well, we'd have to assume I've been on this road. I wondered about Keith. It kind of looks like Keith. I just don't really see where the road angle would fit there. So hopefully somewhere down that direction, in which case I probably have been there. Can we actually cross here? We can. Okay, excellent. Now, where's it going to be? I think more of the info is going to be this way. So, I mean, again, it's not one of these rounds where I'm, I'm, I just know exactly the spot, but I think there's a good chance I would have been to this town, you know. Oh, we're in Narracourt. See, have I been to Narracourt? I don't think I've actually ever been there. Um, another place that I, I have friends in, and yeah, I did get the feeling that this was down that direction, but Narracourt's not a place I have actually been. So we should actually be, I guess, on this road or something nearby, but I think this round is essentially dead, unfortunately. So yeah, there we were. And uh, yeah, another place I've not been, unfortunate. We got really lucky in a way, but then just a bit too far south. Are we looking at Mount Fuji here? I think so, maybe. To our east, northeast there? So if that was the case, then I guess we'd be just be somewhere here. Now, I did go on the train line past it. I watched out the window. So if we were, like if the train line was just over here, we could probably count it, but I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> and it might not be Fuji anyway. I think Fuji might be more prominent. There's like no other mountains around it really, right? So we'd be like here, but yeah, I'm kind, kind of don't believe it. I feel like we're more so maybe looking at Mount Oyama or something like that. So I'm, I'm a guess there. Let's see though. Oh, we were actually exactly where I clicked. So yeah, I would have been right there. This is very close once again. Uh, I feel like the uh, <laughs> the round we had in Adelaide was definitely closer, so we'll continue on. Ooh, we're back in Adelaide. There's no way, man. We have not had Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Hobart, Darwin yet, and we've had three South Australias. And this is Adelaide for sure. So where are we? Okay, don't recognize the suburb. Uh, we get so lucky and yet I feel like this is unlikely to be a, to be a street I've been on. Also, we have a little wire coming out of the car here. That's super interesting. We have no antenna. We do have an antenna. Um, regardless, let's have a look what suburb we're in. Because, I mean, there's no... Oh, it's Salisbury. Okay, I mean, I've been plenty of times to Salisbury. The question is, have I been to this road? Probably not. But let's see how close we've been. Okay, so there's the hills off to our east, of course. That's always the way it is in Adelaide. Pretty recognizable with the poles. And uh, here we are. I've, be, I've definitely been on this road. I forget what which what it's called. I've definitely been on this road. Ah, oh, man. It's like, it keeps on throwing us bones, but it's just random suburbs. It's like, no, I've not, I've not been there. Okay, so here's the intersection. We're on the intersection of Main North Road, a road I've driven many times, of course, one of the main roads of Adelaide. That should be readable once we have looked at Main North Road. So let's go into it here. I mean, yeah, this is Main North Road here, I believe. Yeah, there's Main North Road and we're at a fairly main intersection here, not McIntyre. Here we are, it was Clayson. Oh, and Frost Road. Okay, that's why they were different on both sides. That's why I couldn't see it. <sighs> Have I done anything just here? I, I kind of don't think so. I, kinda, I, I definitely have been along this in a road, but I doubt that I ever would have been where we were, which was, I mean, we traveled northeasterly to get to where, to get to the main road, I guess. So like Lynn or something like that, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just no chance. I'm going to guess. Here we were. I mean, man, we've been so lucky. I think I'm gonna play for five or 10 more minutes, see if we can get anything, but if not, that might have to be along with the Adelaide round we had before, the best we can do. I do think the Coromandel Valley one I've been to, but yeah. Okay. Sydney. I believe this is Sydney. Sydney, I did go through a lot of the suburbs, but this is the thing, like on the UK, it tends to put you more on the motorways like GeoWizard saw. Here we're just in random places. Okay, this is Melbourne, actually. Uh, Melbourne could be better. I was born in Melbourne, have been around there. And let's take a look. Where are we exactly? Springvale is the suburb where the real estate agent is located. And I think, well, let's take a look where Springvale is. If we can, if we can work that out, then maybe I know I've been nearby. Springvale's here. This is uh, not the area of Melbourne I originally lived in, nor an area I've visited since. 
Although Dandenong, I've definitely been to, I guess, I have been up into the hills here. Probably on the way, probably on one of these arterial roads, but never, never into the suburbs here, surely. Yeah, it was not gonna be achievable there. Unfortunate. Ooh, hello. We are in Vienna, another city I've been to before, and a city that's honestly super surprising it hasn't shown up yet. We're probably 100 plus rounds in, yeah, easily 100 plus rounds in. And now we're in Division 21 of Vienna. So, okay, I mean, I don't think I would have been to 21. I feel like 21 might be over the river, right? So, probably not a place I've exactly been before, but in fact, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, but I mean, can you see these on the map? It might actually, might actually be worth investigating quickly what part of town we're actually in here because I could have again been very close. It was like a Johannes something right here. Uh, we're at Johannes Laufnergasse and, oh, that's just an alleyway. And then Siemensstrasse, excellent one. Um, where would that be? Be. Honestly, I'm just gonna guess here because I'm relatively sure I've never been here before. I don't recognize it in any way, so let's just quickly investigate what this is down the road, though. Does we have like a very big train station or something? No, just a shed, I'm gonna guess here. And it was, yeah, it was over the river, as I thought, 20s. I think the 20s district's always over the river, so I don't think I crossed the river, unfortunately. What is this round, bro? We have like a shrine? A fan, and it, since they don't know Tanzuron, I'll show them what he looks like. What is this, bro? Absolutely classic world map location. Where are we? You in India? What? I mean, this is just a crazy location, man. That's hilarious. I mean, yeah, we even got the right area, but <laughs> I mean, what's going on there, man? Ooh. E50 to Bratislava and Chatsa. Chatsa? Hmm. Well, E50 to Bratislava. Let's find out where it is. I think we might be actually further east here. But Slovakia is actually a travel, uh, country I have traveled a bit in. So, Zhilina. I think I've heard of that place. It's more over here, right? Zhilina? Um, hmm. Okay, that's that. Did I go... Was I on the way in Zhilina? I think... So... One day, I was going from Nitra to Tatranska Lomnitsa up in here, here, and I took this direction. I went, we went here, and I think we, we then, which, which town did we end up in next? I think we actually may have gone Trecin, Zilina, and then through to Poprad. I think so. So, depending on where the train line is here, that isn't it there, I think. I think that's just another highway, but... You know, we may have been quite close to here. Unfortunately, again, like most of my Europe travel was by train, so yeah, but where's Chudsa then? Chudsa should be nearby. Yeah, Chudsa's that way on the E75. And let's take a look at what the angle is here. We're going on a highway. We see the river here, so I would imagine that we might be somewhere like this, you know. Um, and, and the river is rather close to us here. In fact, we're right up against it. So I thought, do we have a petrol station? Where's the petrol station? Maybe a bit further up? Hmm. Kind of splits off here. I think we might be, well, we're not quite close enough to the river there. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that is this here. So I'm gonna guess here, but uh, is there a bend? There is a slight bend here. I'm gonna guess there, but uh, yeah, I've not been to that exact place. Okay, there it is. Um, You know, the train line, you know what guys? If I'm remembering correctly, I probably was extremely close to there. If I went through Zilina. Guys, Slovakians, would I have taken that route? I'm pretty sure that we went to Trecin, but I, I, it could, it may, it may have just been Bun Bunska, Bunska, uh, and then maybe we went through here instead. I know we ended up at Poprat, so yeah, I could be completely missing, uh, misremembering. Uh, I'd have to go back on my uh, diary, but I guess I'm gonna end it off there. I mean, I'm gonna finish off the video by checking how close to the original location we 5 k would have I been? So yeah, the location was right here. I'm thinking about other main roads that, so like maybe Black Road here, do I recognize this intersection? Because if I rec recognize this intersection, eh, uh, do I? Not that one. What about this one here? This, 
This feels more familiar, maybe. I, I, I do really think I've been on this road. I mean, a lot of the hills and roads look pretty similar to one another, but I feel like, yes, at least on this section of the road, I would have been... My friend's house, she lives somewhere up in here. So, to me, it definitely seems correct that I would have been on the main road of Coromandel Valley at some point. So, we can call today a partial success. I think we can switch maps next time because world map clearly is not the best. It's uh, given us some uh, interesting distribution where a lot of the countries I've been to, like Vancouver, British Columbia, we didn't see any of that. We did not see any of Czechia, Slovakia, we had one round. Austria, we only had Vienna, but you know, it's like the Germany stuff as well. It's always rural. So maybe another map could service us well. Um, Slovenia as well, I guess. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, if you guys want to see that again, let me know. But yeah, guys, hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, till then, goodbye.